So for this project, I used a 10 by 8 inch frame. This is not the actual frame, but I prepare all my frames the same. I remove the backing, I remove the glass, I remove the clips, and then I take Elmer's glue and I put it around the perimeter of the inside of the frame where the glass would sit. Then I replace the glass and I take Elmer's glue one more time and put it around the perimeter of the back of the frame. Now this serves two purposes. It helps to hold the glass in place, plus it helps prevent any resin leaks when you put resin on the other side. This needs to dry for 24 hours, sometimes longer, depending on how much glue you use. Next, I took Celestial Glass, which is a fire glass I picked up on Amazon, and Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. I took a big spoonful of that and put it in the bowl with the fire glass and just mixed it up real well. And then I, after it was well mixed, I took it out and I put it on a piece of nonstick paper. You have to put this on something like wax or parchment paper. And I spread it out, and then I took an iridescent glitter and put it on top while the paint was still wet. Next I had uh, cut out an egg shape and taped it to the back of my frame and drew a couple of eyes on a nose and then the cracked shell across the bottom of the or I guess it would be the top of the egg or the bottom of the chick. And then I took the um, celestial glass that I had painted with the iridescent medium and I just um, started putting it all together like a puzzle piece. I put some clear Elmer's glue down and it's really important that you use clear Elmer's glue. It will dry perfectly clear and you won't be able to tell you even have it on uh, even from the back. And then I just went ahead and fit it all together like puzzle pieces until the entire egg area was filled in. The reason I put glue down first was I didn't want the glass to shift when I put the other glass on. It was just an extra precaution to hold it in place. Next, I took some clear Elmer's glue and went around the perimeter of the chick, and then I took two millimeter rhinestone chains that I had picked up on Amazon it's the silver back with the clear chain, and I just went along the perimeter again on top of the clear Elmer's glue. And again, it's important to use clear Elmer's glue. And this needs to dry. And then uh, next, I was looking for eyes for the chick, and I have this collection of rocks <laughs> that you can pick up from the, I think I've gotten them from the Dollar Tree, from Hobby Lobby. And I used those two for the eyes and then some stained glass for the chick's beak that I had drawn on with some uh, magic marker. And then I used the scoring stained glass, stained glass scoring tool and went around the perimeter of the beak and scored the glass. And then I used my running pliers to actually break the glass. And um, I did learn to cut stained glass by watching YouTube videos. It's an excellent source, YouTube, and uh, the great thing about it is it's free. After that, I take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and clean the oil and the magic marker off of his nose. And then I take some clear Elmer's glue and glue all of the pieces down. And then I'm looking for a little piece of um, yellow tumbled glass to use as his hair. I thought that would look cute on top. And then I take some Dollar Tree glass. Oh no, this is actually Celestial glass that I had sprayed with the Krylon stained glass spray paint. And then I take my um, Ashland decorative filler. This is the silver reflective Ashland decorative filler that they have up there all the time that I had sprayed with the, uh, I believe it's called Summer Yellow Krylon stained glass translucent spray paint and um, it just looks so cute. The yellow comes out real pretty and I just go ahead and put that on top of the chick and then by the time I'm done with this I kind of feel like the eyes are just too big. I think I paint them with a couple of white dots but then decide his eyes are way too big. And then I end up swapping them out for these smaller eyes and I put a couple of white dots in there and straighten them out. And now he's pretty much ready for the resin. I just want the clear glue to dry on the back of the eyes before I um, 
use the resin otherwise it won't dry at all resin I'm using for this project is art resin it's a one-to-one -one ratio resin that you mix slowly in a cup for three minutes to assure thorough mixing and to help prevent bubbles I usually drizzle it over the glass first to make sure all of that is covered and um, then go on to put it around the sides and up into the corners and you'll notice I have the silicone uh, stir stick that um, <laughs> I had gotten a long time ago, but somehow it got shoved back into my cupboard and I couldn't find it. And this is great because um, you don't have to use the plastic spoons and throw them out. Uh, this you just wipe off at the very end and you can reuse it again the next time. And if you forget to wipe it off, the dried resin just pops right off of it. And the other thing that I found back in the back of my cupboard is this little... Um, tool that you use to spread the resin around which is really cool also because um, this is another one that you just wipe off at the end or if you forget to you uh, and the resin dries on it you can just pop the resin right off of it because it's made of silicone so um, anyway after I'm done putting the resin on I do use my little kitchen torch to get rid of the bubbles and this has to sit on a flat dry surface for uh, overnight after about 12 hours you can touch it. it takes a full 72 hours to cure it temperatures between 72 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit now all resins are different you need to read the directions for the resin that you are using now I use baby wipes a lot to wipe up around the perimeter I also use alcohol the only thing with alcohol is sometimes that will take the paint off of your frames but it is good to get the resin off of your hands and it's really good if you end up with resin in your hair it's probably the only way to get it out of your hair I don't know but now it's done hey everyone my little chickies done <laughs> turned out cute and this um, yellow is ash actually, you know, the Ashland decorative filler. And this is the what it looks like to begin with. It does not come in this container. I've just poured it in there. It comes in a container like this, this size. And throughout the year, they do have different colors that come out. I don't know if I've ever seen yellow, but it's so easy to paint. And you can use the uh, Krylon stained glass spray paint or the Tamaya which is much more concentrated. And honestly, the Krylon, they're price gouging on eBay and Amazon now, so it's really expensive. You're better off picking up this little bottle for 11 bucks because, because it's so concentrated, this is really equivalent to this because you have to give it so many coats. If you take a look at my uh, Tamaya spray paint video, you'll see what the difference is. But um, anyway, and those little eyes, I have, I have all those river, uh, river rocks or whatever you call them that I had picked up. I don't remember. I, I think I had gotten a few different bags, maybe from um, uh, the smaller ones. I might have actually gotten up at Hobby Lobby and maybe the Dollar Tree had the bigger ones. But you could use a button or something else that was round or a piece of jewelry, a bead or something like that. And uh, coloring the... the um, Celestial glass was real easy too. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. And um, if you enjoy the channel or you uh, want to be notified of future videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.